That's how we took this 3D cube and turned it into this 2D concept map. Wait, wait, wait. We haven't gone through the process of how I did it. Hi, this is Stefan from Animated Space where we create stylized art and it's time to start my most challenging and captivating project yet. Now that's out of the way, what should we do? 2D, 3D, or something technical? You know what? Let's combine all three. What kind of visuals should we do though? Hmm, let's use the world as our inspiration. Yup, I'm now inspired and I found some things I can definitely use. The first thing that stood out to me were these leaves. I love the color and texture they're giving me. After the leaves, the next thing I noticed was this old bank. It has the look of a mythical forgotten era. We can definitely use this. Hey, I think I have an idea. What if we take the style of the bank we found and then close it into a deserted sky island made up of rock and trees? I like that concept. Now let's create a block out in Blender. To start the block out, we delete the default cube and create a bezier curve. We also need to change the viewpoint and rotate the bezier curve so the curve turns out right when we're splining the tree. To create the shape that we want, we'll have to adjust each individual bezier curve. The curve needs to be subdivided. This will allow us to modify the mesh even more. To add a mesh to the Bezier curve and make it look more tree-like, we'll have to go to Object Data Properties and play with the Depth property. Finally, we'll duplicate the mesh and play with it until we get the shape that we want. Two things I forgot to mention. If you want to scale the curve like I'm doing right now, press Alt S. And if you want to control the poly count, play with the resolution. And that's pretty much the steps I use to create the tree block out. Now that that is completed, we can focus on the base where the tree will be held, the island base. For the island base, we'll take a cube and turn it into the shape we need. Let's add the bank wall while we're at it. With the base wall completed, let's also now add some holes and cracks. This will help to push the theme that it's a broken building. I'm still not happy with the base, let's build it up a bit. I like this, but it needs more. What more? <laughs> hmm, let's focus on creating some block out leaves. We have a block out shape, let's duplicate it. It still needs to be tweaked a bit though. Ah, that shape is it. Let's put them into place. Now that the leaves are blocked though, let's add the balusters we saw at the bank. Those would be a nice addition to the piece, yo. Ooh, that baluster looks dope. But you know what would sell it more? Let's add a mythical bridge, cause every mythical stylized piece needs a bridge. Yep, 
Yup, I'm liking the block out. The first part of blocking out is now done, now we'll focus on lighting. Not that type of light, but this type of light. For the lighting, I set up multiple lights, created post processing and then I rendered the final version and exported it to Photoshop. If you want to see a full version of how I did the lighting and rendering, I'll post a video for it right here. We can now continue the block out, but let's do that another day though. It's late and I need some rest. We're back. Now let's import the file. Now that I have the final block out, I'm going to be doing drawovers. This will allow me to visually figure out what needs to be added and taken away. To do this, I'll be switching between Blender, Photoshop and Unity, just like I did before until I get a version I like. Creating a piece in this way has been a different feeling as it has just allowed me to let my ideas flow and take the piece where it wants to go. It feels like I'm being taken on a journey. I really like creating this way and I may do this more often. Whoa, we really haven't been selling the dragon element to the piece. So let's add a dragon tail right here to sell that. And let's also think of other things we can do to sell it. I finally completed the puzzle. The block out is done. Now let's move on to color and making it into an environment. To start off the color section, let's add a gradient background and some stylized clouds. With the clouds added, let's place the block out we already created where we need it and let's start coloring the ground areas and some of the plants. Okay, everything is looking good with the shadows so far. Let's focus on coloring the tri sign next. Signage is blocked out. Let's now zero in on the dragon egg, the trees and the dragon tail as these will be some of the key focal points. Given the dragon tail is now complete, let's focus on adding some windows. Now that I have most of the main scene colored, it definitely needs more background elements to make it a scene. Let's add some smaller islands in the back to fill it up.
you know what let's add some big propeller like leaves to the islands because that will help to create the image that it's floating islands let's add some dragons as well and have them flying around like they're protecting that island or these islands I like the piece but it still looks a bit flat especially with the background rocks we need to build that up more how do we build that up more though hmm you know what let's add some trees and grass and stuff like that to it yeah let's do that looks better but something is still missing what if we add some of the broken buildings to the smaller islands as well looking at it it still looks flat it needs water maybe a waterfall and rocks The waterfall was definitely the missing element. Let's now add some post-processing effects to adjust the color. You know what, let's add some gradients right here. This will help us to accentuate the colors of the waterfall. Everything is looking pretty good. However, let's build up the waterfall a bit more by adding some rocks. Now that the water rocks are done and everything is completed, we can do the final reveal.
thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe, especially if you made it this far. Peace.